When I first heard about this series, when I was making my What I Will Watch for Fall of Anime 2016, I was interested in the show because of the summary, the description of the series and what it was about. It was about a girl that had a bunch of hot guys surrounding her, and she didn't really care about that. She was mainly into, you know, the guys being together. She wanted that yaoi. She was a fujoshi. And when I saw the plot and the summary of it, I'm like, this is probably going to be a very... Very funny show. I can just t can tell by the way the summary is of the show that I'm going to get a lot of laughs from this. I'm just going to laugh my ass off. So I sat down and watched the first episode. And I am pleasantly surprised with what I got. Now normally I'm not a big fan of watching shows like this. I'm not. I'm going to just be straight up with all of you. I'm not. I'm not normally one to go out of my way to watch shows like this. But the overall plot and what it's about, I was just laughing my ass off with how she was constantly just thinking about the guys being together and she was being a Fujoshi. I was laughing. But that's not the big point of why I was interested in the show. It was after that fact when I really started gaining interest when I found out that the main female voice actor is Kobayashi, which voices Sarutobi in Gintama. If you know her from Gintama, then you know as a voice actor, she's amazing. She's a very, very good voice actor. Very, very talented talented, by the way, one of my personal favorites when it comes to anime, and knowing that she is going to be voicing the main female character of this series, I was interested. I'm like, yo, yo, she's voicing a character that's a Fujoshi, she wants guys to be together, I, I just can already sense the perverted voice right now from Sardu Toby being used on this girl, and I'm like, yo, I can't wait, I just can't wait to see how it's done. So I sat down and watched the episode, and it's exactly what I expected, but well done, very very well done. Even the romance scenes, the regular romance and all that, it was just a very well done episode. Now, obviously, this is not going to be a series for everyone. I mean, there's many that might not want to watch it because anything to do with Fujoshi or Yaoi or anything like that, but I love the comedy that this first episode brought, and I had a good laugh, a very good time sitting down watching it. So once again, I want to stress, if you do not like Fujoshi-type elements or anything like that, then this is not going to be your series. I don't recommend you to watch this series if you don't like it. I'm just going to be honest with you. The comedy is very subjective. If you don't like that, you're going to probably hate the series. But if you can kind of enjoy it and you like the comedy aspect of it, you're going to love the series. So, first episode animation-wise, I, I felt like the animation looked really fucking good. Especially for the scenes when, you know, the main female character went for her transformation into a very pretty-looking girl, which... That, that's what I want to talk about. Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm an anime only, but let me, let me kind of talk about this. You're telling me that the main female character, she starts off as a little bit of... Uh, she's chunky, okay? That, I'm just going to be point blank. She, she's a little bit chunky. And then all of a sudden you find out that her favorite character dies in anime. She goes through emotional trauma. She stays locked in her room for an entire week, starves herself, and then she finally gets out after a week and she's completely skinny. Let, let, let me go back, okay? Let, let me just re-say that. The main female character, which was chunky at the beginning of the episode, like the first half, she found her main f favorite male character that died in the anime. She got upset, emotional. She went into her room, locked the door, didn't come out for a week, starved herself. She got out, and she's skinny. She's she's pert. Like, I'm like... I don't think that's how weight loss works. I... I I don't think that's how that works. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. But I could have swore weight loss doesn't work like that. I, I feel like you just that, that can't happen. No. Mm -mm. Not, not that radical of a transformation. So I could be wrong. M maybe I, I've been mistaken my entire life. Maybe I wasn't taught right. But I, I, I don't know. I Just something's off about that. Anyways, let's talk about the overall sequence of what really was kind of fucked up about this series, and it really just got me like, yo, this is, this is pretty fucked. So, after the female character goes for her transformation, all the guys start get gaining interest in her. They're wanting to be with her, and I'm like, this is so fucked. It, it's really fucked up when you think about it, because some of the guys, they were being nice to her, okay, in the first half of the episode when she, you know, was kind of chunky. It, it wasn't, you know, like... Apparently, you know, they weren't treating her right, but some were, and after that, after she became pretty much beautified, she slimmed down, everyone started treating her nice. Even the ones that were treating her like shit are treating her nice, and that's so fucked. That is really fucked when you take a moment... 
to think about that. Just get that wrapped around in your head real quick and think about how fucked that is. A bunch of mean guys all of a sudden start, you know, being very nice to her because she's pretty. I'm like, yeah, that's just... You should treat someone nice because they're a human being, not because of how they really just look. That's it's kind of fucked. It, it, that is really fucked up. And I was like, if I was her having to choose a character to be with, what she wants them to be together instead of her being with them, regardless, though, she has to be with someone, I would definitely not choose a guy that was trying to be an ass to her before she became pretty. You don't want a guy like that. I'm just going to be honest. You, you don't want someone like that if they're going to just judge you completely on your looks. That's just instant right there and especially with the way they treated her it's not even that okay they treated her like shit before she became slim so yeah some of the guys kind of douchebags i'm just gonna be honest here but besides that overall the episode was a very very good start to a series that i'm gonna enjoy watching so let me know your thoughts in the comments below you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe chibi out